supposed to eat 130 grams of carbohydrates a day. Let's see how I did, right? How would we do that? Well, I'm going to make yet another carbohydrates column. So here's the one in grams. I'm going to zoom out so I can move things more easily. Oop, too far. I'm going to move all these columns over one. Make room for a new column here. Zoom back in so we can see what I'm doing. And I'll call this plus, no, plus minus carbs. And I'll say, I'm supposed to eat 130. And I'll, uh, I don't, the other way, I'll do this column. This equals this column minus 130. And that tells me how close I was to hitting the right number of carbs. So on days where I don't enter it, I did pretty well. This day, below by 44. This day, over by 133. Most days, I'm quite a bit over, looks like. And we could find that out what it really looks like by making a chart. Shocker. It even knows to make a chart like this. Yeah. This project is going to be easy, huh? Yeah. Let's customize it. Maybe, uh, yeah, who wants blue? When we could do Maroon, yeah. Um, so let's take this, we can maybe control C to copy it, then bring it over to the blog and insert an image. Let me just paste, no, screw you, okay. Um, so I guess we gotta download it from over here, that's okay. Um, we can we can publish it plus minus carbs publish the image and now we can take that image and use it anywhere. I'll use it on my blog, but if you were making something like this, you could use it in your project.